Okay, this video is a tutorial to show you a brand new feature in Local Theme Jack. And the feature is landing pages. So we're in the dashboard, going to click on landing pages and forms. Okay, and you see I have quite a few in here. You want to come over and click on new form. And here are currently 15 forms available and you see when you mouse over the form a little box pops up there's a checkbox and an eye you click on the eye and you see a preview of what the form looks like and you can decide whether or not this is one you want to use and I think I'll go with this one here and once you check the form that you want to use just scroll down the screen and give your form a name and you can change colors if you wish the background and the button background color and the button font color I think I'll keep that at white and then just save okay now something that you can do with these forms is you can integrate an autoresponder with them so if you're wanting to integrate an autoresponder the first thing you need to do is go up to themejackbiz down to integration here aside from your google map api and the capture form we have autoresponders so there's a weber Get Response, MailChimp, Eye Contact, Infusionsoft, Constant Contact, Active Campaign. So if you have any of these as a service, you can go through the process and get your authorization code or your API key and enter them in here and save them so that when you get to that aspect of the forms, you can integrate the autoresponder. So let's go pages, add new. Okay, and use Jack Page Builder. And since this is a landing page, I want to keep my visitor focused on the page and the information there. So I'm going to remove distractions. So I'll take the footer out and I need to now add new rows and I'll just add four or five of them so that I've got them ready and they can be deleted if I don't need them. Okay, now I want to set a background for the entire page. So to do that, you click on the section setting, click on the gear icon and come down and you can select a background color, a background image, a background video, or a background map. And I'm going to select an image. Let's see, I already have some up here. So I think I will do this, the road to success. Okay, so that's my background image. And you can use the parallax effect what the parallax effect is, is that the image is stationary in the background and the whatever information you have floats over top of it. And you can set a section minimum height. You need padding, etc. You can go ahead and add that and I'll save. I'm going to add a background, just a background color. All right, padding top, no padding. Oh, yes, actually, I do want. I'm going to add a headline, and adding a margin will make sure that the headline isn't smack against the top of the screen. So maybe we'll do 30. A margin on the bottom will make sure that whatever I add next isn't smack up against the headline. And the border radius, if you want the background to have rounded corners, you're at a border radius. And the smaller the number, the less rounded the corners. Or the larger the number, the more rounded the corners. Okay, now I'm going to add my columns. And this is just one. And the module will be headlines. Okay, text color. If you ever set something up and don't set the text color 
and you can't find whatever it was that you added, it's very likely the text color was the same color as whatever your background is. And I want this centered and bold and italic. Top padding and save. Let's just do a quick publish and preview changes. The parallax effect is the background stays stationary and this information floats. And here are the rounded corners. And I put padding on the top. I should put padding on the bottom as well to make it centered. So we'll go back. And the next is going to be a video. And I want this nice and bold. Take up the screen and get people's attention. And the video URL. I'll paste the link here. I want it centered. Top padding. Okay. Top margin. I want it to be separate from the heading and I want this to show on all devices so here's another new feature if you haven't seen it yet when you're setting up your website some pages you don't need to have show up on a mobile device so you can select which pages you want to have on which devices so we'll show this one on all devices and save update and preview changes. So here's our heading, here's our video, and here's our parallax effect. So we will come add my form and add the module and landing forms. And the module name is landing forms. And the welcome email, you want to have this from a domain email address your name at yourdomain.com. Do not use Gmail or Yahoo or AOL. You want to use a domain email address to make your email more likely to be delivered. Set your message. Okay, and you can edit the message. If you want other people to receive a copy of the forms that are submitted, you can enter their address here. If for some reason you aren't receiving copies of the forms that are being submitted, you can select Use Theme Mail Server. And the landing page type, I'm going to use Pop-Up. Here are the landing page choices. With a Pop-Up, it will present the visitor with a button telling them what to do and when they click on it then the form will pop up so you need to give them some reason to click the button okay and these are button settings for the one that people will be presented with the hover background color 80 width font size font color is good to have white top padding, bottom padding. The margin refers to the distance now that will be between the video and the, the button. And the border radius, again, that would be for rounded corners. Now, when somebody successfully signs up or does what it is you've directed them to do, you can show a message at the top of the screen that reads, success you did it or you can send them to a thank you page now if you want to send them to a thank you page or to another page on your site you will need to set that up prior to doing the landing form or it won't show up in this list and here you come to your service provider so if you use any of these, you can select the one that you've connected to your site and it will, it will display all of the lists that you have set up. Top margin, bottom margin, show on all devices. Okay, save and let's do an update.
and preview changes. Okay, so they can come, they can watch the video that tells all about what you're going to teach them and click here to sign up for the class and fill in the form and submit. Okay, so here's the, the landing page sort of thing that I have decided to send them to, give them some information, and here is their class schedule. So they can download the class schedule. And here is the congratulations email. So we know that the form is set up properly. So now we come back to the site to finish off the page. And I'm going to add the footer links for the legal disclaimers. And I'll add a module. And we'll add footer links, text color, white because the background is kind of black, orientation show on all devices, and save and update and preview changes. Here's our completed form. We're all compliant. Now, if you want space between the button and the footer links, this is what I've been doing. I add a space, add a module, and I add image. There's no image going to be added. I just come down here and put padding. And it depends on how far down you want the footer links to go. So I'll just give that a try and update, preview changes. Okay, and there's my footer links. So you decide where you want them. Now, the other thing you can do, of course, is the landing form, you can add top margin, bottom margin. So I could have added 300 bottom margin here. Preview changes. And that's now 600 pixels space. So you can add the space at the bottom of one section or add a blank space. Now, being able to customize your landing page the way you want it and integrate it with your autoresponder is just the first part of how awesome this, this new addition is, that we have the ability to do split testing to get statistics of visitors to the site, the conversion rate, unique impressions. All of these will give you data and information. Add new. Yes, this is for doing split testing. You can name whatever group this is that you are promoting to. You can select the page that you want to send people to. And if you've created several different versions of your landing page, you're going to select the page, the other pages that you want to send people do, and then decide, do you want to switch the page every visitor or every day, and then save. Then we also have call tracking, so we can get call lead stats and set up the call lead settings, and this connects with call CID. So you enter your call CID, username and password, and set select a campaign. And then the last one that I think is too cool is buttons. You can get statistics on the buttons that are clicked on which pages and it'll show you conversion rates. Obviously, this nothing is being set up, so this doesn't show you anything. Unique impressions, this is a test page, and we can do split testing with buttons as well. So you select the page and the form and what you want people to click on. And that's it for this tutorial.